Now if you remember TV shows like Kung Fu and Monkey, even Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, well there's one that precedes that. And inside this ordinary looking house is a shrine to the original Japanese ninja TV show. Let's go and find out a bit more about this. Now, Greg Newman, you are like obsessed with this show called Samurai. I am obsessed with the show Samurai and it all began when I was uh, a very young kid and I've still got this memory. It was a Sunday night. It was shown in Melbourne and uh, my next door neighbour came in and she was Scottish and her son was my best friend and I said to her, I says, oh, Mrs. Tansy, what's, uh, what's Rod watching on television? She said, oh, he's watching that new uh, Japanese show, The Samurai. Switched it on, only caught the last 10 minutes and I was just entranced. I thought, this is great. Ninjas, we'd never heard of ninjas and samurais and swords and, and, and the evil guys look so cool. And so that was my uh, that was my first taste of the samurai. Because this was the predecessor to what we look at, uh, you know, Kung Fu and Monkey and, and even Ninja Turtles. Yeah, it was. It was the first time. And, and you've got to put it into that context. We had never heard of ninjas. We'd never heard of samurais or anything like that. So this was the, the first time we were exposed to something sort of brand new. This was often set in forests. You had guys up in trees, and of course they're jumping backwards onto roofs, which we thought they could do. Yeah, how did they do that? Yeah, yeah, and we tried to do that ourselves. Okay, now I do want to ask that. So you said, how many broken bones did you get trying to be Shintoro? Oh, no, I, I did have a ninja club in Melbourne, and part of the uh, requirement was to jump off the garage roof. So you had to jump off the garage roof a couple of times. And also when you made your star knives, which we used to do out of the jam tins, you'd go around and we'd make them. They were dangerous things. And you had to throw about three or four into the grass. And if you did that, then you officially joined the Ninja Club. And you never copped any injuries? No, 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 no injuries. Let's run through some of the stuff because you're a bit of a collector yeah. when it comes to I am. Uh, all stuff yeah. to do with Shintoro and, and the I Samurai. Am. I am. And we, look, we've got some memorabilia here. But one of the things I got as a kid, which was fantastic, was the samurai costume. You could buy some ninja costumes, which were very cheaply made, but the samurai costumes were pretty cool. Now, my mate Gary Renshaw, who's met the actor who starred in uh, The Samurai, found some of these. Gary, come and Look show Look at this. this. Now, can we do an interview with this guy? Yeah, sure. He's a bit sure. flat. This is, this is Shintaro. That's Shintaro, and this is how it was sold in the store. It was suspended like that, and there's a, an applique, a plastic applique of Shintaro. So you've got costumes. Now, did you, you know, there's some of those little flying stars that you were saying yeah, you had. Yeah. Uh, have you still got any of them? No, no, no. We made those out of jam tins. Uh, well, Gary does. No, Gary's got a few authentic star knives. Wow. And each of them has a different <laughs> I wonder how this would go in the front of the camera. <laughs> the cameraman just crapped his pants. <laughs> this Shintaro gave me, I had dinner with Shintaro in Tokyo. And you scalped him. You actually went and scalped him with one of those knives and I'm kept his head. I'm the possessor of Shintaro's hair. That's the... the so now there's this bald way. Japanese guy walking around going, I used to have hair like that. I wonder how many wigs that they had. Is, this is the this only is one. It. This is the one, yeah. And, and so how did you con him into actually letting you have... His Just hair. By arriving there and saying, Shintaro, I'm glad I met you. Now, that's pretty impressive to have yeah. the actual person from the show presenting you with that. That's, that's pretty amazing. Shintaro himself. And um, there, are, there is a documentary coming on somewhere where Shintaro himself points to a photo and says, I gave my wig to that man and I'm glad I did because he calls it a treasure. And, and Shintaro himself actually says, he's the one with my wig. Have you ever tried to put it on? No, no, no. It's never been off that stand. The only person who's ever worn that is Shintaro. See, I wouldn't, no. I wouldn't have been able to help myself. I would have been like, no one's around. No. You're trying the ask, but I've got a sword to cut their hand off. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually worth quite a lot of money, the, what you've got it here. It would be. I have seen on uh, eBay the Samurai card series selling for well, oh, four or $500 if you've got the complete series. So these were the bubblegum cards that came out through Scanlon's. I'm impressed you've still got teeth after eating all this chewing gum. Uh, yeah, well, were, the bubblegum was pretty ordinary. You got four cards, two sticks of bubblegum. So uh, I'll keep those, but if anyone wants to buy them off me for $500, they're yours. <laughs> this is uh, connected, not buy and sell. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So did you often, um, you know, try and be ninjas yourselves? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. You talked about your ninja club. That's right. We, we, we had those as kids. Yeah, that, that was really... I mean, like in the last few weeks. In the, well, well, it's interesting you should say that, Hinksy, because uh, uh, 
Today, the, the day that we're doing this interview, tonight on Japanese television, there's a program called Rediscover Japan. Now, they heard about all of us samurai fans, and there's there's more than me and Gary, by yeah, the way. Yeah. Uh, we had a 50th anniversary get-together. This was last year. We had people from Perth and, and Canberra, mm. Sydney, Queensland, of course, uh, gathered here, and uh, somehow they got wind of all of this, this Japanese TV show, and they thought, we'll come out and interview you. Well, it goes to show that if you're a fan of Shintaro and also the Samurai, you need to know Gary, you need to know Greg, and if you see two guys running around Brisbane City as ninjas, I think we know who it's going to be.